Well, hello, my Virgo friends. I hope you're doing well. Uh, today, I'm going to do an extended reading for you. I'm going to use my favorite tarot cards, the Naked Heart Tarot. Then I'm going to clarify it with a Learner Mond reading. Then I'm going to use the Magic of You Oracle, how to assist you with what your reading comes out and says. And then I'm going to finish it up with, with a Wish so I want you to make a wish uh, while I am shuffling the cards and we'll see what the angels, if they're going to bring you your wish. So without further ado, a timeless Virgo reading. Are ready. Ooh, strength right off the hop. Um, this is... Uh, Oh, this is also called the force card. I can see you've really been um, working on yourself, Virgo. Um, working on taming the inner beast, taming the inner ego. You've really been um, strong with yourself. Maybe you've been on a health kick. Um, but you're doing something that is very, very good for yourself. Nine of Cups. And you've kind of got a wish coming true here. So um, maybe it has something to do with this with you um, being, uh, strict with yourself. That's the word I want to say. Um, the lovers reversed. Interesting. Um, something happened here. Maybe your wish was to end a relationship. Um, so that's why you've had to be strong. Uh, because you had to end a relationship that so that was better for yeah I think you've ended a relationship here Virgo because here you here's the single card and the lovers reversed maybe you've you, you had to be strong to leave and um, you finally got your wish that you were strong enough to leave or maybe you needed the money to leave because this is the money card as well this is success um, for some reason though you needed to leave this relationship. Yeah, you did. Five of Pentacles reversed um, out, out of the inner circle. Um, a, this is also division. So division of good. So you've got two cards here indicating uh, a separation of um, earthly goods. Uh, but for some reason, that was one of your wishes. Um, Seven of Wands, you're... You don't have to defend yourself anymore. You don't have to defend yourself. Um, there might have been a bit of alcoholism involved in, in this decision. Maybe that's what, um, I'm not necessarily reading that it was you. Um, let's see. Six of Swords moving on for sure. For sure there's this has to do with the ending of a relationship. For sure it does. I think you were tired of fighting about the alcohol consumption. The High Priestess, yeah. Two single women cards here. Uh, the High Priestess reverse, though, is stonewalling. Look at the hand. Look at the hand going up here. But it's but in reverse, it's even stronger. It's like, I've got a, I don't even necessarily even have a secret. I'm just not even talking. Not even talking. Whether it's a secret or not, I'm I'm done. I'm done talking. I'm done defending myself. I'm done with it all. I'm I'm moving on. Oh, and the star healing. Oh, for sure. There's something with alcohol or some kind of um, overindulgence here. Maybe it was food. Uh, but cups are, because it's water, I always just go straight to alcohol. But it could be actually anything um, that was, you know, could have even been food. Maybe they weren't looking after themselves and and, and you were, Virgo. Um but you no longer have to defend yours. This is very healing for you, this separation. Interesting. Spirit of swords. Yeah, this, you know what? I think you somewhat had to come in. I want to say like a bat out of hell. Um, you had to just come in and do it. This is the um, um, king of swords, which is also a lawyer, law, divorce card. Um just like I, I've, I've had enough. I'm, I'm done this, and so I'm doing it. Oh, tennis swords reversed. Um, you know what? I think this, this is rock bottom for you, and now you can rise up, because tennis swords this way is ruin, rock bottom, could even be um, death. 
Uh, my father cards are around it, but when it's reversed, now the swords can fall out. So what's holding you down? Think of the swords holding you at the very bottom of, of the pit. But when it's reversed, the swords can now fall out and you can stand up and start healing and you have the healing card here as well eight of swords no longer feeling like a victim okay virgo i'm calling it right now you've left a relationship now this could be a work relationship uh it could be a um, maybe the work where the uh nine of cups were is they just expected so much of you um could have been your dream job and it turned into your nightmare job but you are now free definitely you are now free to go the universe. It's done. Done, 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 done. Underlying five of cups. Uh, disappointment. You'll, you'll, you're very disappointed. Um, that's looking in the past. Not really like looking in at, at everything that was spilled rather than, than what you have. Um, you know, rather than looking at being grateful for what you're, what you have, you're kind of, um, um, neglecting what you, what you've lost or not neglecting, you're reminating, you're lamenting about what you lost. And of course, whenever any kind of relationship, whether it's a work relationship or a loving relationship ends, there's always some feeling of loss. I mean, did I waste all those years? Um, you put so much effort into it. Uh, maybe you actually, lose money because you leave them the couch and now you have to buy a new couch again. Um, so there's always some kind of feeling of loss and disappointment. Um, but when it shows up reverse like this, I think it's going to be easy for you to let go. When it's right side up, it's being unable to let go of the past. Uh, so it's reversed. So that that energy ha is diminished. So I think you are going to Surprise yourself how quickly you can let go of, of this. Um, but this is complete. Whatever this was, um, this relationship that has now ended, um, it was part of your karma to move on. And it's now complete. You never have to do this again. Okay. All right. Well, let's get some clarifiers on there. What's going on? What is going on for our Virgos? Let's get some clarifiers on that. Okay, so using the Lenormand, we want some clarifiers of the uh, previous Virgo tarot reading. What can you, how can you clarify this even further for us, please? Clarify our, for our Virgo friends, their tarot reading. What some further information? Okay, cards are ready. Garden. This might have to do with work. Lily, um, bear, might have to do with work, Virgo, cross, a cross that you had to bear, anchor, you've been, this was something that was going on for a very, very long time, child, stars, rider, stork, underlying, ship. I think this has to do more with work. I honestly do. I didn't get any, I didn't get the ring. I didn't get any kind of lover's card. I didn't get another person involved. Um, but I do have, um, the garden here, which is, which can be your work. It's a public area. Um, uh, we got the rider and the stork and the ship. You might be changing jobs. So that's what you're leaving behind and you've completed because the bear is, is also your efforts will, will bear fruit, which it can also be a work hard. And the lily and the anchor tells me you've been at this for a very, very long time. And I think you've wanted to leave for a very long time. Um, it just was becoming too much, too much to bear. Maybe you're pregnant and it's time to go. You could be pregnant. You could be yes pregnant stork and child yes so maybe you're pregnant because sometimes the universe card or the world card can indicate uh pregnancy as well i you might be pregnant virgo you might be pregnant because here we also have the mama bear i just got chills 
that's what you might be leaving behind your single life. I think that's it. You might be leaving behind your single life. And now you're a mother. So not single. Um, I, what I mean by single, signal, signal. Why am I mixing up my words? Single. Uh, what I mean by single is now um, you, you don't have a child and now you're pregnant maybe with your first child. So your whole life is going to change. Wow. So this is the clarifier. I think you might be pregnant, Virgo. I hope you want to be pregnant. And that does, that changes your whole life. That changes your whole, whole life. And it's, and it is, we've got the anchor and the mama bear here. So that's, you know, that's a very long time. Whether that, that anchor brings you stability. Um, I think you're really torn to tell you the truth. Because when you have the ship and the anchor, you're torn between leaving and staying. Um, but the lily is this, this Lily, I think it, this child's going to bring you peace for a very long time. Something to do with children. Maybe you're maybe you're a new teacher. Maybe what you were giving up was was school, and now you're coming out into the working world as a teacher. You don't want to give up your college years, but you kind of have to. That's a cross that you have to bear is to work. Yeah. So something, to, these cards are amazing. I think um, you might be pregnant. And again, this is timeless. So if you aren't and you don't want to be, then uh, take precautions. But something in your life is changing and it has something to do with children. Um more so than I would say than new beginnings because we have the stork and the rider and the stars here and the mama bear. Okay, Virgo. Well, that's exciting. That's exciting. Whole change in life. Let's see what the uh, magic of you Oracle has to say about this. What kind of advice can you give our Virgo friends about this big change of life that they're having? That's interesting because um, the first time that you become a mother, your your whole life changes. You have to leave behind the um, motherless life. So that's interesting that the tarot cards say you're 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 done with that relationship of it just being you. And then the Learner Mond cards show that the new relationship is with a child, and it is you do leave the life behind you. So let's let's see what we got here for uh, the Magic of You Oracle. Laveria, let love grow. Wow, look at that, could even be a womb. Let love grow, Laveria, let love grow. Wow, that's your message, so uh, this whole big change of life for you is to let love grow. Um, this could even be the pregnancy belly that we're talking about. Um, and so let love grow. Like, right? You've just got to let that let that little one grow. Let love grow. Okay, so I'm just dumbfounded here. I'd never expected that. So let's let's get your wish going. Let's get your wish going, Virgo. Put your wish into the cards. Let's ask the angel, will your wish come true? Will your wish come true? Will your wish, will Virgo friends, your wish come true? Cards are ready. Communicate clearly. There's something better. Improving health. So those are the answers to your wish. Communicate clearly. So maybe you have to clarify your wish a little bit better. There's something better. So they're saying, bump it up. 
and improving health. Oh, I love that improving health one for you, Virgo. Um, amazing, amazing. Wow, I to totally did not expect that, Virgo. Um, why don't you stick around, have a look and see what other messages I have for Virgo. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up and uh, take good care. Thank you.